Well, hey, welcome back uh, to the channel once again. Uh, picked up my second uh, garden tractor uh, this morning. The first one you've already seen, uh, that 316, on getting it started for the first time in about 20 years. Uh, today I went and picked up the uh, 416. I'm sorry, the other one was a 314. This is a 416. Uh, a little bit better shape, still not running, but uh, let me flip my camera around here and show you what we've got. All right, so here it is. Um, it's a hyd hydro uh, transmission on it. Um, looks to be in pretty decent shape. It had been repainted. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it. Now, I've already had to spray off the tires. That's why you can tell it's wet. Tires were muddy, so I had to spray them off before I brought it in my shop here. Um, overall, looks pretty decent. Now, like I said, don't know really a whole lot about the engine. Looks like it has ran uh, recently. You know, there's missing the cover over the carburetor and the filter. So I'll be uh, looking for one of those. But, uh, and then the deck for it, I believe, is right here, which I picked up yesterday with the... Uh, with the other tractor. So I believe that deck fits this one and then the other tractor over there just has the blade. So anyway, first thing we're gonna do is get this thing washed up. Uh, I'm gonna cover up that carburetor, make sure we don't get any water in that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick wash on it, nothing crazy, no power wash, I'm just gonna hand wash it, get some of that garb off of it. Um, get that thing cleaned up, let it sit here and dry up and we'll flop over to another project while this thing's drying and then we'll uh, resume back on this thing here in a couple of days maybe and try to get it fired up um, this tire up here is flat uh, as you know on the other one all four are getting replaced uh, this one here i think i may be able to just stick a tube in that we'll check it out and see how bad shape it is as far as dry rock goes but uh this one had been repainted um at some point so just gonna clean it up for now and maybe get the deck back underneath it, get it mechanically sound, and then I'll probably strip this thing down like I do all the other equipment I'm redoing and and paint it. Uh, maybe the same time I paint that one, I'm not sure. I'm used to having a lot of parts hanging in the spray booth at once. When you're doing a tractor like that 190, you got a lot of parts hanging, you gotta do it in several sections. So uh, these may not be too bad. I may be able to do both of them at the same time but anyway there we go the 416 is here and uh we get it washed up here and we'll end this video after i get it washed and we'll pull the hood open and look underneath it and uh so there we go hang tight we'll get to washing So watched me wash this uh, 416 garden tractor and then really washed up pretty nicely. I think the gentleman had painted it uh, not too long ago. So anyway, I did notice that as I was washing the neck for the fuel tank was moving. So I opened up the hood and saw this on the time lapse. The whole tank 
has come out of it. <clears throat> then I noticed the fuel line sitting right there. So, we've um, got a little bit of work to do on that. No big deal, we'll get that cleaned up set now. We'll have to find a few parts, it looks like, for it, the straps to hold the tank in. Now on this side, I'm missing one of the straps for the hood. So I'll need that. And like I mentioned earlier, piece for the car. Go ahead and pull that off now. Um, looks like there may be, let's see, there's the throttle. Oh, I see, it's missing the knob. It's right here. It still works. Well, it still moves. Should have been clipped in right here. So, yeah, I'm missing a few little pieces. Um, so, I'll be looking for those pieces so that we can get that thing functioning. Um, I'm not sure what goes in here. If somebody knows, please put it in the comment, comments and fill me in on that. And we'll need a battery. I believe also right down here on that was a handle, maybe to raise and lower the deck, but I see that. Well, that may be, I don't know if that's part of the lift system right there. I think it is. This is just loose. So maybe there's some linkage in there that's missing. If you guys know anything about that, please uh, leave me a comment let me know what you got so that goes up in here so this is going to be my it's missing the connection there that's going to be my raising lower all right so we'll uh, hunt a few parts down for that uh probably get it running before i start getting too many parts just to make sure everything's good shouldn't have any anything on here that i can't or i have to have before i can get it going Looks like it wires off the clutch down here. Um, so yeah, there's some wiring and stuff that's definitely missing. But overall, I think pretty good, uh, pretty good little tractor. Now, I'll get that deck cleaned up as well. I want to make sure that thing fits this tractor and not uh, the 314 over there. So there's the connections that we did measure that and it fit lined right up with the front of that one there it is so like i said this is the first uh, couple of garden tractors i've ever had so all right well hey thanks for watching uh, hit like and subscribe leave those comments and uh stick around for the next video have a good day